Hi, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about Final Cut Pro. And so that's what I use, Final Cut Pro 10. And I thought I would show you a couple of tips that I think have helped me a lot for beginners. And so stay tuned and I will show you that. Let me know in the comments below if you have any tips that you can share with the rest of us. The first tip I want to talk to you about is copy and pasting attributes. Here I'm setting up a simple scene with a computer monitor and two clips that I want to display on the monitor. The first step is to get the monitor sized and positioned right where I want it. When I add the surfing and coral clips, they will initially fill the entire screen. I will use the transform tool to scale and position the surfing clip right where I want it. And so that's great. You can, but you can see the coral clip still takes up the entire screen. So instead of manually resizing and moving the coral clips, I can copy paste attributes to copy the scale and position of the surfing clip to the coral clip. First, I select the surfer clip and choose copy from the edit menu. You can also use the keyboard shortcut command C. Next, I select the coral clip and move the playhead to the coral clip as well. Now I choose paste attributes from the edit menu. The keyboard shortcut for this is shift command V. This pops up a screen to ask which attributes you want to paste, and in this case, the selections of position and scale are correct. I click paste and look at that, and it's exactly where we want it. So I'm a beginner as well, just like you, and all of these things I'm learning, and it takes practice, so just give it a go. The next is range tool. This has helped me a lot. It's the next tip I want to share, and you would use the range tool to adjust a portion of the clip's audio track. That's one way you can use this range tool. I added some appropriate music to the surfing clip. Let's listen. I want to make the second accent sound a bit louder. So first I select the range tool by using the R keyboard shortcut. Next I click the drag and audio section that I want to change. Now I can simply drag the volume line up and we're done. It even fades in and fades out keyframes that you can adjust later. And so listen to the result. If you want more videos that will help you grow your channel, don't forget to subscribe. Overlay, this is how you use an overlay. So I imported an image of a scuba mask. Next. I simply drag the image from the browser on the left into the timeline where I want it. I then click the transform button and I can resize, rotate, and reposition the image right where it's supposed to be. Up here in the corner looks good. Note that I am using a PNG image. PNGs can have a transparent background which makes them perfect for this type of overlay. The last two tips are simple and effective. Markers, for instance, is something that you can use if you want to remember to go back to something. You just press M and it will put a marker there to remind you and you can delete it by right clicking on that marker. And now for favorites and rejects. And once you learn how to do this, you will go through your footage much quicker if you want to mark a clip as a favorite, you would select the clip in the clip browser and hit F and you will see a green bar to indicate it's a favorite. To reject a clip, you select the clip in the browser and hit the delete key and it will be marked with a red bar. And once you select the favorites and rejects, you can use the filter menu to only see the favorites or only see the rejects. And you can also use the U key to remove either the favorite or the reject ratings. And this will help you organize your footage. Let us know if you have any Final Cut Pro tips. Thanks for watching. Talk soon.